कौन शहर मका में सुबह सुबह आया है जिसके नूर से आलम सारा जगमगा بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله وحده والصلاة والسلام على من لا نبي بعده أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وما أرسلنا من رسول إلا بلسان قومه ليبين لهم فيضل الله من يشاء ويهدي من يشاء وهو العزيز الحكيم صدق الله مولانا العظيم Honorable President of the program, respected ulama, ID audience. Today I want to speak something on the topic of importance of English language for Dawa. As we know very well that language is a means of communication for people. From this viewpoint, every language has its own importance. It can be used to convey a message to the speakers of the particular language. But if any language secures international status, it grows more significant since it will have a worse prospective for any activity to be carried out through that medium. Dear friends, in the recent age, we see that English language is spreading throughout the world. It has become internationally popular language. People around the world are not only accustomed to using the language, rather they feel proud of using it. They pay attentive ear and respectful look to those who speak English. So it is not only a medium of communication, but it leaves a lot of effect and impact over people. On the other hand, English is the language of science and technology. The language of the major international media is English. The anti-Islamic elements spread many misconceptions about Islam and Muslims through this language. Therefore, no doubt, learning English is very useful and important for our purpose. We should learn this language due to its importance. We should use it as a sword to defend Islam and Muslims. It is not only allowed to learn this language, rather it is a kind of hikmah which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered to apply in the following verse. Udu'u ila sabili rabbika bil hikmati wal mawizati al hasana wajadilhum billati hiya ahsan inna rabbaka huwa a'lamu biman zalla an sabili وَهُوَ أَعْلَمُ بِالْمُهْتَدِينَ Invite people to the way of your Lord with wisdom and good counsel and argue with them in the best of manners. Surely your Lord knows best the one who deviates from His way and He knows best the ones who are on the right path. Surah Nahl, chapter number 16, verse number 125. Dear fellows, Islam allows using every lawful means it doesn't forbid learning a language for good reasons as no evil lies in a language. Rather, it is sunnah to learn a new language to defend Islam and Muslims. The Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was reported to have asked Hazrat Zaid bin Sabid radiallahu ta'ala to learn Syriac language as he didn't trust the jeeves who used to communicate him in this very language. The audience, this is the reason that our ulama and elders have always regarded learning English as lawful, rather better for the purpose of dawa, but it is unfortunate that they are maligned for sins which they never committed. People blame them that they made English learning, whereas what they been was the English culture, not the language. As the history witnesses that all great ulama from Shah Abdul Aziz Muhaddis Dahilwi Rahmatullah and Hazrat Maulana Abdul Hai Firangi Mahalli Rahmatullah down to Hazrat Maulana Rashid Ahmed Gangohi Rahmatullah and Hazrat Maulana Ashraf Ali Thanvi Rahmatullah have endorsed learning English as language. 
and how can they deny this natural phenomenon and fact that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent down countless prophets and messengers at different times and places in the language of their people. These prophets invited people to Allah in the language their people understood. As the verse I recited in the beginning says, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَا مِنْ رَسُولٍ إِلَّا بِلِسَانِ قَوْمِهِ لِيُبَيِّنَ لَهُمْ فَيُضِلُّ اللَّهُ مَنْ يَشَاءُ وَيَهْدِي مَنْ يَشَاءُ وَهُوَ الْعَزِيزُ الْحَكِيمُ We did not send any messenger but in the language of his people so that he might clearly convey the message to them so Allah lets go astray whom he wills and lets find guidance whom he wills and he is the mighty, the wise. Surah Ibrahim chapter number 14 verse number 4 As time doesn't permit with these words I would like to wind up my speech Wa akhru da'amana anilhamdulillahi rabbil alameen